Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is another James show. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, we're going to be taking a look at strange, mysterious, unexplained, and creepy videos. And today I got a wonderful video for you guys. But before we go on, I'm just gonna ask you guys to subscribe to the channel with notifications on, leave a like, smash that like button, and tell your dogs, your cats, your mom, your dad, your friends, your cousins, your entire neighborhood, and the pizza delivery guy, tell them all, subscribe to the channel now. Anyways, let's get on with this. Now this is a very interesting video clip. Let's take a look at this. This is supposed to be a UFO in Mexico. Roll the clip. In an airport. Is that it? What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Oh my gosh, it's like it's 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 completely still. I would say it's not a balloon. What? Oh my gosh. What is that? Oh my gosh. That is definitely not a balloon. What is that? What is that? What is that? In the middle of it, what's that? What the heck? What's going on here? I have never seen anything like that. By the way, guys, I'm going to be doing some merch uh, for the channel. For the main channel and this channel and i want to know from you guys what kind of t-shirt would you buy from impossible channel and this channel leave a comment uh okay let's replay this video in slow mode it looks like some sort of metallic object and it has these it has these it has these pointy things um i'm really curious about one spe specific thing why why talk about aliens and ufos now why disclose the topic now i want to know your opinion leave a comment this is really strange this was sent in by a subscriber i'm not exactly sure i did not go forward and investigate or research this video this was sent in by a subscriber and this is supposed to be something about purple street lights popping up all over arizona if i'm not mistaken uh phoenix actually Let's roll the video. Over here on my right is what a normal light should look like, right? That's the kind of lighting. But across Phoenix, we are seeing this instead, more purple lights showing up. We're told about 1,200 of these lights started popping up a couple of months ago in the city. That's out of about 100,000 total lights in Phoenix. Wow. You have seen them lately on your evening commute. Street lights across the state that are glowing blue. Well, the Iowa DOT says it's an issue they are aware of. That's right, Patrick. When they were first installed over a year ago, they were a normal white color. Now, as you can see here behind me, they've changed to a purple-blue color. The lights really are different colors. Some white, some a purple, even blue hue. What's going on here? Wait a minute. What? Stop, stop, stop. Blue? Really, there's several studies saying that blue lights at night can be harmful for your, uh, well, you're a good night's sleep. Let me actually pull this up from the internet so I can show you guys. Being exposed to blue light in the evening can trick our brain, can trick our brain into thinking it is still daytime. Disrupting circadian rhythm, rhythms and leaving us feeling alert instead of tired. Chronic misalignment of circadian rhythms can also lead to many negative health impacts such as stress, anxiety and all those things and in the end you're gonna be uh, become a more stressful person um you're gonna have uh problems with anxiety in the midterm long term i don't know i'm not saying that this is on purpose I'm, i don't think this is uh this is weird this is really weird because it's not that it was one or two lights uh street lights this was like all over phoenix i understand and uh why why are they doing this is this by any chance happening where you live? 
Why do you think they're doing this? This is creepy, bro. So this next video is coming in from Terroris Nocturnos, and this is not the original source. I understand what's going on here is this is one of those Skype conversations, one of those Skype calls uh, between groups of people having online classes. This is what happens. Pay very close attention. There's a doll behind her. What is going on here? Oh, it's a Woody from, uh, why is she looking at it? Oh, people are saying something. Wait, what? It moved? What is that? Oh my gosh, what was that? I saw it. Like a black shadow or something like that. A dark shadow just behind her. What is going on here? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. What was that? Oh my gosh, the doll. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But I just realized I'm gonna slow mo and I'm actually gonna zoom in on this video for us to take a better look. And there's a conversation, there's a chat. And I think that if we pay attention to the chat, we're gonna find out what's going on here. So, someone in the chat says, There's something moving behind you. The doll. The doll is moving. Oh my gosh, I can see the doll is moving. There's like a bunch of people on that online class. El Pinocchio. So the, the Pinocchio. Oh, it's a Pinocchio. It's not a Woody. It's moving. Indeed, I saw its hand moving. It's still moving. Now there's a dark, a, a dark shadow just behind her, which is really creepy. It's one of the things that makes me believe this video could be legit. And then I understand that the doll actually jumps at her or something like that. Unfortunately, the camera doesn't... I guess that what makes this video credible is the fact that the doll not only is... Not only can you see the doll moving, but you can also see a dark shadow just behind her moments before the doll jumps at her. So this is really creepy. All right, so this next video is coming in from Erlo Brown on YouTube. Um... So this Let's take a look at this video. Here. I think we have found a perfect place to place the trail camera. So this trail running along here is literally the only entrance and exit for this entire valley. And you can see it's very narrow, so it's very easy to funnel the animals in one spot. You know exactly where they'll be walking. It's very dense around here. So I guess animals can walk wherever they That's want. That's a good point. They need the trail. But um, I'm almost 100% convinced we'll catch some animals on this trail. Just look at how nice that is. I just have to find a good spot to place the camera. I'm not too concerned about people finding the camera. Um, this trail isn't used a lot because it's just a one way. It's not a three way. Uh, so maybe a tree. I reckon this tree could maybe work. Although that's going to be very obvious. Maybe if we find something that's a little bit further into the tree line, so it's better hidden, this could perhaps work. What? What was that? No idea what that was. That was really that was strange. You sure you, you you better leave? I mean, uh, let's play this video again. Just a second here. Um, I just want to say something. I'm gonna replay the video. Let me just wait a minute. So it's better hidden. This could perhaps work. I'm gonna ask you guys, do you think that this could be legit? Because when I hear this, there's something about the the ending of the supposed roar or sound. It doesn't produce any echo. And as I am looking at this video, it's very difficult to say or affirm that he's in a valley, but it seems as if like he is in a trail. And you can see in certain parts here, he there's a mountain just next to him, or at least it looks like there's a mountain just next to him. So it must be a valley of some sort. It produces echoes. 
So what I'm trying to say is that when the sound ends, it's just too abrupt and without an echo. And there's a small, a small to medium chance that this is most likely fake because again, I don't hear any echo sounds. But I wanna know from you guys, what do you think is going on here? I've never heard anything like this, but I don't think this is the real deal though. Uh, but it could be, and I could be wrong. What do you guys think? Okay, let's go to this next video. What's going on here? Hmm. So this dude, what is he doing there in the middle of the river? This is in Russia. This is definitely in Russia. What's going on here? This is crazy. The name of this phenomenon is Ice Shove. It is a very, it is somewhat a very beautiful phenomenon to watch. It's it's like Mother Nation in action, but at the same time, it's kind of scary and a bit dangerous. Okay, this next video is coming in from Paulo Roberto in Bertioga, Brazil. It's a beach, if I'm not mistaken. It's a very strange phenomenon that, that was captured on camera during a lightning storm. This is one of those things that I have to say, I've never seen anything like this. And I've seen lots of videos. Let's roll the video. What is that? And this guy. What the heck is going on? Let me pause this. What is that? I mean, what? They're seeing this and they're talking about it like, are you seeing this? What is that? This is what they're saying, kind of. Um, this is... Let me roll the rest of the video. What's going on here? Wow. Wow, bro. I've never, I mean, like, what is going on here? I've never, I'm gonna pause the video at a specific moment here. Never seen anything like this. I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure this has to do with camera shutter, shutter speed, digital camera, frame rate, and all those things. Pretty sure that if they were using an analog camera, most likely they would not, they would not be capturing this, but I'm not sure because I've seen several videos of storms like this. And I myself have recorded storms like this before and I've never seen a phenomenon like this where you have like these rays of light coming out of absolutely everywhere all the time, non-stop. What is going on here? Can someone please explain under the comments? All right, so this next video was really strange at the time. I remember there were loads of people talking about this and saying it was these were birds. I don't know. Take a look at this. Where is that? Am I, you see it, right? I'm actually, uh, yes, okay. I do see it. Okay. It's getting weirder by the second. I know. Um, it's sticking around. We're gonna do some Anybody? digging and figure out what that is. Back in a moment. Look at the end of the video. Let's, let's fast forward to the end of the video. Take a look at that. Yeah, no, I don't think those are birds. Bird murmuration at night that actually seems kind of uh, glowing. There's one particular moment here. You can see that whatever this object is, it's definitely glowing. And I don't think birds can do that. Row that moment, please. Slow mo. What is that? You see that? And then it, it, it goes up and then it goes down. That That is not a bird. Not only that, these objects seem to be somewhat far away from the camera. Um, let me take a look at this. Let me see if I can find where this was. Um, yeah, no, unfortunately, I don't have that information with me right now. But if you do, leave a comment. And I want to know from you guys, are these birds, is this a bird murmuration at night? Or is there something else going on here? I've featured several videos of subscribers sending me, not only subscribers, but videos of people that recorded something similar to this. 
that, you know, in my opinion, definitely not birds at night. Not birds at night. They don't glow. This is something else. So this is a video coming in from Julia Shortcake. And this is quite a creepy video when it comes to paranormal encounters. This is actually a group of people that were doing an urban exploration. And they went into a school or a theater at night. There were rumors already that the place was haunted. This happens, pay very close attention. They were kind of feeling creeped out the entire... What's that? What is that? What the heck is that red light? No, I, I hear something. something oh my gosh that is creepy the entire situation is very creepy Oh my gosh. Uh, there were loads of people saying that they could hear a kid whispering. I'm going to rewind this video and play it again. I think that um, if we maybe enhance the audio, we can hear the same thing. Let's try it. Try this time. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Um, this seems legit. They could have set up loads of fake activity, paranormal activity, in one of these dark places like a church. I'm not sure if this is a school. I think this is a school. And uh, I don't see any reason why just, you know, the door closing would be enough to... This is most likely the real deal. What I'm trying to say is that if they were going to prank or fake something like this, they would most likely more than just fake a door closing and there's a moment there that we can enhance the audio you can clearly see or I mean you can clearly hear what sounds like a kid whispering I'm not exactly sure what it's whispering but if you have any idea please do leave a comment this is a really creepy video okay so this next video is coming from reddit user last mammoth 895 him and his wife were at work. It's 8.16 a.m. in the morning, and this happens. Check this out. What? I mean, like, let's play this video again. I heard a voice. Then the dogs start barking and the door opens. Yeah. Oh my god, okay. Um, yeah. This could be legit paranormal activity. It could be fake. One thing that catches my eye is that the dog's tails are wagging. They're wagging their tails. And this most likely means that they're not afraid. 
But it's not 100%, not all the dogs in the world will stop wagging their tails when they're afraid. It depends on the situation. The voice. I'm gonna enhance the, uh, the audio. Let's play the video again. I can't exactly make out what the voice is saying. If you do, leave a comment. What is it saying? Uh, I don't think it's helped me, but it, it's kind of creepy because there's not much going on in this video except for the voice and the door opening. And the door isn't like opening up like it's not it's not it doesn't look fake this is what i'm trying to say and the dogs are legit reacting to something there they seem like they're feeling as if there's an intruder i don't know could be the real deal what do you think when it comes to scary and creepy encounters with shadow people or jinn this has got to be one of the creepiest I've ever seen. It's coming from El Franco Drives on Instagram. Let's check this out. He's trying to communicate with the entity inside his home. This is how it all begins. Yeah, no. That's my stuff, bro. <laughs> well, yeah, well, just pause there. Um, He's saying, he's talking to the entity, right? And he's kind of joking around. He doesn't feel that this is a, a, a serious thing. Paranormal investigators will always say, do not engage in a conversation with the entity in your home if there is one. And he is doing that. Uh, I mean, unknowingly, I think. He doesn't know exactly what he's doing. So let's, yeah, this, uh, he continues on doing this. Roll the video. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the cat. I mean, cats and dogs, people say that cats and dogs are a really good thing to have uh, in your home when you are to avoid actually, to, to detect, to avoid, to protect your home from spiritual entities in general. He has a cat, which is a good thing. Let's continue. Again, bro. Okay, he's getting scared. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think he's, uh, it's clear to me at least that he's getting overwhelmed by the situation. It doesn't just happen once or twice. It's starting to happen every day. He's starting to feel overwhelmed. I think it's very clear. Let's go to the next part. Oh no, not the mirror, bro. A candle in the mirror. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the first time he sees it. Oh my gosh, when it makes itself visible, not good. Not good at all. Um, let me just rewind this video in slow mode. Let's play it in slow motion. Oh my gosh. I mean, like, he's saying at the beginning of the video, I think he's saying something. He's asking for protection. Uh, he's asking his grandma for protection. If I'm, I could be wrong. Let's go to the next part. Oh my gosh, this is getting creepier. Oh my gosh, there it is. What is that? What is that? Oh my gosh, bro. No way. 
Oh my gosh, where is it? The cat again. Oh my gosh. This is creepy. Let's roll the next video. Oh my gosh. Someone left a comment there. Uh, amigo, no puedo ayudarte mucho, pero para saber si es una alma blanca o obscura, juega con un globo y con ella. Okay, so they're saying like you should play with it uh, with a, a balloon. What? You should use a balloon to see if the entity plays back. I don't know if. Again, I don't know. The paranormal investigators say that you should not in engage with these entities. I don't think this is a good idea, but let's just let's see what happens. He's actually gonna do it. Oh my god. Well, it's his house. It's not gonna move, so. What is that? Oh, that's the, the balloon. You're kidding me, right? I've never seen anything like this. What is going on? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Okay, so it could be an air current, a wind current, um, but I don't think so. Doesn't look like it, um, but yeah, let's see what happens next. Okay. Hey, hey! Oh my gosh, again. I saw that. Oh my gosh. Oh, the cat. Let me play this one again. What is going on here? I mean, like. There you go. There it is. Too fast. It's gone. Yeah. Okay. That was too fast. Let's play that again. That's not fake. Whatever that is, it simply disappeared. Look at that. The cat hears it, reacts to it. There it is. It disappears. Nowhere to be found. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. And then it. Oh my gosh. Bro, I mean, like, he has to move. Definitely. Not good. Not good. This is the last part. Hearing music, music's playing from downstairs. Start playing by itself. Okay. Again. What was that? I heard something. Not sure if you guys did too. Um, I think I heard something. Anyways, um, at least the song that was playing was cheerful. Something like that. Well, anyways, guys, this is it for now. This is it for today. But I'll see you guys next time. Uh, yeah, this is creepy. What do you think? This is, uh, is this the real deal? Is it fake? And have you ever been in a situation like this? And what do you think you should do? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel with notifications on. Leave a like and tell your dogs, your cats, your mom, your dad, your friends. Come over to the channel. Subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And I'll see you guys again.